friends at Welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and today we're talking about how to start 2019 off right. I don't know if 2018 was a good year for you, a bad year, whatever kind of year it was, I want to start 2019 off right and make sure it's an awesome year. I'm really excited for 2019. There's gonna be a lot of really fun things coming in 2019 and it's gonna be awesome. So the first thing is to reflect on 2018. I just did a wins and fails video last week that I'll link down below for you on how 2018 went, what I did good, what I did bad, and I'm gonna reflect on that and just kind of look at it and say, okay, what could I have done better? What could I have done worse? And from that list, start a goals list of write down what are your your goals for 29 what are you going to work on what do you need to improve what do you need to do better make sure it's financial goals personal goals work goals any type of goals fitness goals whatever type of goals that you have make sure that you're striving for them and working for them and write them down don't just make a mental note in your head and be like okay yeah i want to save some more and i want to start doing this and i'm going to start working out yo yeah, yeah working out that's going to be a big one i'm going to start working out in 2019 no right it down have it in your planner have it on a sticky note on your desk at work have it somewhere that you're looking at it constantly multiple times a day so that you can reflect and make a mental note of oh yeah am i doing this make sure that you're checking in and saying oh i haven't done this in a while we need to start doing this this is going to be important to really kickstart your 2019 and also follow through throughout the year and make sure that you're continuing to do this to continuing hit those goals Next is to create a budget. If you haven't already, make sure you create a budget. I have an Etsy shop with my Excel budget that I have used for years. It helped me pay off all of my debt. It helped me cash flow my wedding. And now it helps me just reach my goals and making sure that you're tracking everything. When I started tracking my spending and tracking every single penny that came in, every single penny that went out, I started making so much progress. And before I was doing it in my head and be like, okay, I think I spent and like $300 on groceries, I'm not sure. But when I started tracking, I was like, holy cow, I'm overspending in this category. Oh my gosh, I need to rein it in. And I really realized where my money was going. It's so mind opening when you are really tracking your money and you can see why there's more month left at the end of the money. Or if you have money left over, put it towards something, put it towards your goals. I really believe in a zero-based budget where every dollar has a name. And then at the end of the month, if you have $200 left over, don't just let it roll over into the next month. No, put it towards something. If you're paying off debt, put it towards your debt. If you're saving for something, put it towards that saving. Make sure that it's going to something specific or else it's just gonna la di da and be gone and you, next thing you know you're gonna see a great sale at marshall's or target or something like that and then something's gonna happen and it's just gonna be gone but if you have a put your mind to something and say no this money has to be allocated somewhere every single penny has to be allocated you're really gonna hit those goals faster next is increasing your 401k by one percent we invest 15 to 17 percent into retirement between our 401ks and our roth iras but every single year at my work, I get a 3% inflation raise. So I make sure that I always invest 1% more each year. And then I don't even feel it because I'm getting that 3% raise. So it's really like a 2% raise. And so I don't even feel the inflation on my paycheck of where that money is going. So bumping up that, that 401k 1% can make such a big difference. And honestly, guys, you really won't notice a big difference in your paycheck, especially if your paycheck is fluctuating a little bit, depending on overtime and how many shifts you're working. And it's gonna make a big difference over time. And just that little, little bit of extra money, it goes a long way. And if you can invest a little bit more, go for it. That's awesome. Next is to find a high interest savings account. So a lot of people have their savings accounts in places like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, just the traditional banks, but their interest rates are terrible. My Bank of America account, their interest rate is 0.001%. Guys, I was making like a penny a month on interest. Then I found Capital One 360 and, not sponsored, Capital One 360, and their interest rate is well over 1%. It fluctuates, but the lowest I've ever seen it is 1%, which is awesome. And you can really, really great get a great deal for your money and have your money work for you. So it's an online based account. I have an affiliate link down below for you guys. If you sign up through the link, you'll get $25 bonus just starting it out. 
And so with the online banking, you can make transfers, you can have it go in automatically, you can um, link it to your checking account, you can do so many great things with it. And it's, it's amazing. I absolutely love Capital One and they are just a great place to hold your sinking funds. They also have checking and debit cards if you wanna go that route. I personally just have the savings account. I don't have the checking account, but they are awesome. So $25 bonus if you sign up, which hey, that's a win right there. Plan a spending freeze. So Christmas just passed and I, I went over my Christmas budget. I didn't go into debt or anything. I cash flowed it, but I spent a little bit more than I wanted to. So planning a spending freeze is a really great way to get your finances back on track to get um, the year started off right. And so what you do for that, it's not that you can't spend any money at all. What it is, is not spending money outside of your monthly bills. So make sure that you're still paying off all your bills, still paying your debt, still buying groceries, anything like that but do a pantry challenge. Eat from the pantry, eat from the freezer. See if you can really, really cut your grocery budget. Cut eating out, cut spending money, cut miscellaneous personal money, anything like that, and to put all of that money towards your goals. Put it all in savings, put it all towards debt, and really just being creative with your money. And also cutting down your, your driving. See if you can really limit how much you're going out, you know, only going to and from work and, you know, to and from the store. And rather than going out, you know, to store every single day, just doing all your errands on one day to really maximize that. And really just getting control of your spending to start the year off right. That can be a huge game changer. If January is a little bit, little nervous, try February. February is the shortest month of the year. So that may be a great month for you to do the spending freeze or maybe just do a week. You know, if a year sounds a little, or a month sounds a little scary, then just try a week and see how that does. See how much money you're able to save. And I bet you you're gonna save a lot of money and then it's gonna give you motivation to do it again. Maybe once a, once a month do a spending freeze. That would be awesome. Lastly is to start a new side hustle. I have a whole playlist on this channel of different side hustles that I've done and tried out for you guys and ones that have failed and ones that are awesome. And so start a new high side hustle. Figure out a way to make some extra money this year. I have started my YouTube channel and a blog and I do some babysitting on the side every now and then use what you're already good at you know are you a good baker maybe sell some baked goods I have a friend that sells bread I personally make my co-workers lunch for him and so I'm already buying the ingredients I'm already meal prepping so I just make his meals as well and that's a really good side hustle I don't make a lot for it maybe $50 a month if that but hey $50 is $50 and it's a great way to just kind of increase your spending increase your savings a little bit and just get out there and get that side hustle it can really, really make a big difference on how much you're making in the year and maybe supplementing something. If there's something that you want to save for, you know, maybe say, okay, I can get this when I save it for my side hustle, when I have really kicked butt, when I have really put the pedal to the metal and any money from this side hustle, that goes towards that goal. I really want it and it's something that I'm gonna work for. And doing that, giving that motivation to yourself, that's gonna make you go out there and hustle. So don't do one that's gonna make you have to spend a lot. There was a time where I wanted to make these photos that you would put on wood. And I did a couple of them that came out great. And I went out and bought all the supplies. I spent over $150 on supplies for all of this. It's still sitting in my closet. I've made like three pieces where you transfer a photo onto wood. And I was gonna make an Etsy shop and all this stuff. And I came up with this, a Woodsmith Treasures email address and all this stuff. And it was gonna come into this whole big, really cute thing. It flopped, total flop. So make sure you're doing something that you're not going out investing in a lots of money, at least at first. Do something that you already have the skill. Is it tutoring? Is it cooking? Is it starting a blog? Is it starting a YouTube channel? Things like that. They're not costing a lot of money and there are ways to do them without investing a lot of money. So yes, you can invest money in YouTube and different things like that, but you can also make sure that it's very economic. And I'm filming on my iPhone. I've been having this channel for two and a half years and I still film on my iPhone. You don't have to go out there and buy an expensive camera. So I hope that helped. And let me know how you guys are starting 2019 off right. Is there any tips that you have? I would love to hear them down below in the comments. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.